Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get shaders in Minecraft 1.17 with Optifine. Yes, you heard that right. Optifine is out with shaders in 1.17 and in this video we're going to go over every single step from downloading Optifine itself to adding shaders in to even how to edit options within shaders and get all that working in 1.17. This is going to be an in-depth video. Also be sure to subscribe for more incredible content on Minecraft shaders, Minecraft mods, all of that awesome stuff. Be sure to subscribe for for all of that. First and most, though, we do have more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love and trust Apex so much, so we have to start our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into how to get shaders for Minecraft 1.17. The first thing you need to do is download some shaders packs. So go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you here, right? So this is our in-depth basically look at five shaders packs for Minecraft. These are all Optifine based shaders packs and they're all really, really good, truthfully. You've got Continuum here, which is, you know, I mean, these are screenshots of the shaders. You can kind of see them and there is a video up here at the top which goes through all these and shows you actual in-game footage from all of them. But for this video, we're going to actually install two. Now, these could have bugs in them because this just came out. Literally just came out like today when this video is coming out. So some of these shader specs may have some bugs. Those bugs will decrease over time. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and introduce Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. And we're also going to use, let's see, I don't even, I don't necessarily have a plan for this. We'll go ahead and do Silder's Vibrant Shaders as well. Or Chocopic. Chocopic actually kind of is appealing to me. Let's go ahead and click on the green download button. And then it's going to take us off to our in-depth tutorial specifically for Chocopic, where they want to go ahead and click on download again. So here we are. We are on Chocopic Shaders download page. On this download page, you want to come over here to the right-hand side. Now, currently, we're going to download the 1.16 version. If there was a Minecraft 1.17 version here, you would download that. The 1.16 version will work, but expect some bugs and issues and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and click on the orange download button right here. And then after a few seconds, Chocopic Shaders will then begin downloading in the bottom left. as you just download automatically. You probably won't need to keep or save this file, but if you do, it's 100% safe to do so. Moving on, let's go ahead and look at Sonic Ether here. Now, if we scroll on down on this page, we will see the downloads. We want SUS renewed here, so let's go ahead and click on the download button here. Again, there may be some bugs in this, but that's okay. Make sure you read their EULA and agree to it. We're all good. Let's go ahead and click on download, and it will download SUS in the bottom left. Now, I also am going to need to download Optifine. I say me, you are also going to need to download Optifine. Optifine is required for shaders in 1.17, so keep that in mind. Nevertheless, here we are on our official Optifine tutorial, which you can find at the third link down below. That's going to take you here, where you just want to scroll down and click on the green download Optifine button. That'll take us to Optifine's official website, where we'll see Minecraft 1.17 appear at the top. But we have no versions under it, unless we click preview versions. So you want to make sure that you click preview versions here. Now, if preview versions isn't here, and it's like 1.16.5, and you just have a version listed, then come over here, click on mirror on that version. But under Minecraft 1.17, click on preview versions, and then you get all of them. Now, it may be a different version here at the end. The higher this number is, the better. That means the less bugs that there are in the version. So make sure you get the one that's up here closest to the top. Come over here, click on the mirror button. The reason we click on mirror is it's going to bypass an ad versus clicking on download. So we go and click on mirror, it's going to take us to the Optifine download page here, where after a few seconds, we can go ahead and click on the blue download button here under Optifine 1.17. Now, in the bottom left, it will go ahead and download Optifine. It's probably going to open an ad like this. That's okay. But it'll download Optifine in the bottom left. Now, we will need to keep this file on Google Chrome. It's 100% safe to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, you'll need to save it in the center of your screen. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Chocobic Shaders, SUS Renewed, and Optifine. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To do that, we want to go ahead and go to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But cut on the little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen right up here and then you want to go ahead and type in downloads you have your downloads file folder here click on that and then in here you'll have optifine and shaders and all of the files you downloaded so now let's go ahead and start off by installing optifine now your optifine may look different than mine right it might not have this logo like this java logo here and if that's the case just keep watching the video i'm going to show you how to fix that here in a second but first let's see if you can open up optifine to do that you want to right click on optifine click on open with click on java and click okay 
If you can do that, it'll open up the Optifine installer. But if you don't have Java there, what do you do? Like on the open with page here, if there is no Java or if you click on Java and it doesn't work, what do you do? Well, in that case, you need to download and install Java using this tutorial here. This is down to download and install Java for Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. Now you might be thinking, I have Java. You probably don't have the right version of Java. This is a specific version of Java, Java 16, that is required for 1.17 Minecraft, right? So make sure you go and download this specific version of Java. At that point, you should be able to open up Optifine fine but you may still have a weird looking icon, right? Your icon may not look like mine. It may not look like this Java Coffee Cup logo. It might be a WinRAR file or something like that. If that's the case to fix it, you can go ahead and run the jar fix. So you can come here in the description down below, run the jar fix, and that is going to then allow for Optifine to be able to right click on, open with, click on Java and click OK. That's then gonna open up the Optifine installer here, where all we need to do to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.17 is click on the install button. When we click on that install button, it's going to take it a few seconds. It might look like it's not doing anything, but it is, I promise. And eventually it will come up and say Optifine successfully installed, right like so. Click on OK, closes out of the Optifine installer, and then go ahead and delete Optifine off your desktop. It is installed. Now, if you did get an error there and it said like something like you need to play Minecraft 1.17 or you know you, you got an error, right? If it didn't install successfully, all you need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, which everyone watching this video needs to do. And then instead of going and playing with Optifine, you need to just click on latest release 1.17 and click play, right? Then Minecraft 1.17 is gonna open up and you'll be able to successfully install Optifine without any problems whatsoever, right? So now though, we are in the Minecraft launcher. How do we launch Minecraft with Optifine so we can get shaders? Well, to do that, we wanna go ahead and click on the little bitty arrow here to the left of the green play button. Then you should have an Optifine profile. If you do, awesome, click on it, click play. But if you don't have an Optifine profile or you open up Optifine and it's not 1.17, right? It doesn't say 1.17 Optifine under it here. What do you do? Well, in that case, you want to go ahead and click on installations up here at the top. And then you want to go ahead and make sure that modded is selected. So as you can see, I deselected modded, Optifine disappeared. It's no longer here. We select modded, Optifine reappears, and we can click play. Again, it has 1.17 under it. But if it doesn't have 1.17, or you click modded and it still doesn't appear, what you want to do is click on new installation. Now you can name this installation whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, I'm naming it that? Because that's actually our 1.17 amazing grief protected survival server. We're actually going to be showcasing Breakdown Craft a little later in this video. So come play with us. We've got amazing survival, custom skyblock. You will love it. If you're looking for the best survival server out there, come play on Breakdown Craft. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down here. And then we want to find release 1.17 Optifine, right? So go ahead and click on that. Now yours may be scrolling down a little bit, but mine's right up here towards the top. Then we're going to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing that so we can see because we're making a video here once we get in game. Then click create in the bottom right. Then we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. And under it, it says 1.17 Optifine. Go ahead and hover over that and click on the green play button. It's going to give us a little warning here. Are you sure you want to go ahead and open up Minecraft? We are. Understand the risk. What risk? You're playing modded Minecraft, right? That's all they're saying that, hey, you're playing a modded version of Minecraft. Are you aware of that? Yes, you are. So let's go ahead. Are you understand the risk and click play? It's now going to open up Minecraft 1.17 with Optifine installed. And from this point, it's super easy to get shaders. I mean, incredibly easy to get shaders set up in 1.17 once you have Optifine installed. The hard part is getting Optifine. The easy part is installing shaders. I don't want to apologize for any jump cuts or any lag in my voice or anything like that during the rest of this video. Sometimes my computer lags when I am recording Minecraft, so that is something we have to keep in mind. It's unfortunate, but it just is what it is. So nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can then go ahead and click on options. So from the Minecraft main menu, click on options, and then click on video settings. Now when you click on video settings in the bottom left, you should see Optifine here. But most importantly, you should see a shaders button. Go ahead and click on that shaders button, and here is where you will be able to add shaders files. So I guess you won't be able to add them here. This is where they will appear once you add them. To get here again, that was from the Minecraft main menu, click on options, video settings, shaders. And here we are. Now, one thing I will say, if we look at Seuss right here, it says it's good to go, basically. It doesn't say to unzip it in the title. But Shockapick did say to unzip it. Actually, it's very odd. It doesn't say to unzip it in the title. But if we go back to the Chocopic download page here, this is where you have to kind of pay attention a little bit. If we go back to the Chocopic download page, it does say to unzip this file here. So how do you do that? Well, that means you want to right click on Chocopic and click extract all. When you do that, click extract. It's then going to, in the top left, create this new folder. And in here, we'll see all of the shaders packs. If we had just tried to add this in, it wouldn't have worked. And if you try to add in a shaders pack and it doesn't work, most likely it may need to be unzipped, right? Like so. Again, that was just right click, extract all, and then go ahead and click extract. Then you'll get this new folder on your desktop. 
So once we've got this new folder here, we can delete Chocapix because we just have this Chocapix folder. And then in here, you'll find all the different ones. Now my computer isn't that great. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the basically easiest to run version of Chocapix, which is going to be low, but you can install any of these. Each one of these is a separate shaders pack. So you can't install them all. Well, you can, but you need to extract them, move them all to your desktop for that to work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and delete this. And now we have Seuss, by the way, and we have Chagapix. So Seuss Renewed and Chagapix. To install these, once you're in the Shaders tab, click on Shaders folder in the bottom left. When we click on Shaders folder, we will open up our Shaders Packs folder here. We just want to take Chagapix and Seuss Renewed and drag and drop them into the Shaders Packs folder. If we come back to Minecraft, there they are. Just like that, instantly they appear in game. You may need to click Done and then click Shaders for them to appear, but they appeared instantly for us. If they don't appear instantly for you, unzip like we just did and make sure there's not multiple versions of shaders packs inside of that zip file. Now to install shaders pack, go ahead and just click on it here. Minecraft will then reload. And in this case, Chocopic shaders will go ahead and open right on up. Now we can go ahead and click shaders options in the bottom right and be able to change everything in here from the lighting and ambient lighting and torches and all of that stuff to other stuff like the atmospherics, like the clouds and all that, it can all be changed and rearranged in here. Now though, let's go ahead and jump on to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. It is absolutely amazing. As I said, we have Greek Protected Survival, Custom Skyblock, you'll love it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into here, right like so. And then once we are in Minecraft, right, boom, here we are, we can see Shaders is active. Now, this is a very light Shaders pack. It's not gonna be overwhelming. That was odd. It's not gonna be overwhelming, but it's in game and shaders is here. You can really tell with the water that shaders is added. Now you see that box that's appearing, that's going to be a glitch of some sort or a bug and that will be fixed in later versions. But unfortunately it is there now and it kind of is what it is, right? So nevertheless, there you have it. That is how you can add shaders. Now, if you want to change shaders in game, you can do that. For example, this one's being a bit buggy. So we can come in here to shaders and switch over to Seuss. It'll reload Minecraft and then be good to go. Some bugs can also be fixed in the, uh, you know, like, basically shader options that we showed you. So down here in the bottom right, shaders options. So you can come in here and change different stuff. For example, in some cases, the atmospherics or the sky may be messed up. And in that case, you can go in there and change that and disable the sky and go to the default normal Minecraft sky and it'll work. You can see the shaders effects actually a bit more with Seuss here. So looking good, looking good. And the water does look totally different, but it does look like shaders nonetheless. And I believe if you go underwater, it uh, starts to become clearer as you get closer to stuff, which is really, really cool about Seuss. But there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But that is how to add shaders to Minecraft 1.17. This is playdoutbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I cannot wait to see you online. Actually, this is a uh, private server on Breakdowncraft that we're uh, we're doing some testing in. Wink, wink. But nonetheless, come play with us. Playdoutbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.